Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you a quick on-the-job scenario that I've encountered a few weeks ago. Basically the issue was related to Exchange Server database currently unmounted, dismounted and not able to mount. And while troubleshooting I've encountered a problem with a transaction log that was currently left without any permissions. So let me just show you what I mean. Let me just log on to my server. And this is not related only to exchange issues or anything else. Uh, you can encounter this uh, all the time working with uh, with Windows servers. Uh, you can see uh, all the time corruptions within the NTFS file system within the, the, the server or even in uh, desktop or operating systems. You can encounter problems while trying to open your folders, open your files. You can ex experience problems with uh, setting up permissions and <laughs> Uh, the thing is, uh, I noticed uh, within that within that case, that uh, within that scenario that I had with the exchange, that uh, there was a transaction log that lost its permissions. And what I mean was, I've created a test NTFS folder here to show you what uh, was I experiencing back back then. So when I tried to check the permissions on the on the log back then, I've noticed that under the security tab of the uh, uh, properties of the file, there was no um, uh, security permission set at all. They were completely missing, which was strange for me. So, um, as you know, and if you worked with uh, with NTFS permissions, you most probably know that. Uh, um, you can change the owner if you are the uh, domain administrator or the enterprise administrator. You can change the owner of every single file and every single folder within your environment. So the next step, the next troubleshooting step that I did is I went ahead and opened the advanced security settings. And I noticed that uh, the owner of the file was currently set to unable to display current owner. So I tried to change it to the normal administrator's um, local security group on the server but it didn't work as well. It was saying that I don't have the permissions to do it. Of course now I can assign um, the owner because here everything is okay but um, back then it was um, completely denying me the right to set the owner of the of the um, transaction log file and that was preventing the database from mounting itself because it was not able to um, to use the transaction log. So what I noticed and uh, what I did is I went ahead and just opened um, a PowerShell or a, a normal command prompt and uh, you should be familiar as a system administrator you should be familiar with the common check disk the check disk comment is really a uh, really interesting one. It helps the administrator to fix any corruptions within the NTFS file system. And if you work with servers in the past, you should know that uh, it could be really tricky because if you run a check disk on a um, uh, on the on, on a partition where you have the operating system, for example. Um, because the operating system is using the files, the check disk cannot check them. So this needs to be done offline. And what this means is that you need to restart the server. And uh, if you worked with check disk in the past, uh, especially with the F option, which is the fixed option, um, it tend to use a lot of time to perform the check disk. Um, and the server can stay offline during the whole day, uh, during the process. And you most probably should know that it's not a good idea for you to cancel the check disk. Um, it shouldn't make any issues uh, with with the operating system and it should boot up, but uh, it's really recommended to leave it to finish completely. So what I did next is I performed a check disk on, on the partition. You can um, run the check disk with, without the fix option and that way uh, it should be able to perform uh, only a read mode, uh, read only uh, check on the on the on the partition that you've mentioned of course there are a few ways for you to check uh, the partition that you want uh, you can browse to the partition i only have c drive here so i can run check disk only on this partition but you can browse to another partition and run it there and that way um, you should be able to uh, to perform the the read only um, 
mode of the of the command and i found that there are few errors that uh, windows because right here you should see the line where it, where it says windows has scanned the file system and found no problems back there uh, when i scanned the partition it showed errors and it requested for me to run check check disk with the f option so uh, i'm going to show you um, there are several improvements with uh, windows 8 and windows 2012 and up uh, with the check disk command now um, microsoft because of the issues in the past where you should leave the server uh, during the whole day to perform the check disk and uh, your business could be offline and struggling because of that now they've um, improved this this command so it can run in seconds uh, and it can fix all the issues and um, of course they added another feature which is um, uh, a scheduled task that runs during the day and performs checks and tries to fix uh, issues while the the partition is online and the system is online so uh, it's really handy and is really going to help us in the future uh, s struggling with some problems with the NTFS system losing permissions and uh, files that are inaccessible and so on and so on so I'm going to run the command check disk with the F parameter so just to let you see what what is going on during and behind the curt curtains uh, of um, the uh, the system trying to fix the partition so let's run the command check disk with fix option and it's going to say that because the the volume is currently used by a process it's not able to check it right now so I need to um, schedule a restart so I uh, it's going to offer me the option would you like uh, to schedule a restart um, and check disk on the uh, would you like to, to schedule a check disk on the next restart and so when you have the approval and when it's okay for example during the night or out of hours when it's okay for you to scan the system you can proceed and uh, just reboot the system it will check the disk fix the problems with uh, with uh, the issues that you have and uh, everything should be okay so uh, I'm going to specify yes to this and press enter Another easy way for you to um, perform this scan is using the GUI and you can find that, let me close that window and you can find that when you go to uh, the this, this computer or this server in my case and when you right click on the partition that you have problems with and click properties and then go to the uh, tools tab right on the top you should see the error checking and if you click on check it will say that um, it's not needed uh, for, to, for you to scan the, the drive uh, and it's saying that the windows was not able to find any issues but you can still perform uh, a scan on the disk and if it found any problems it will say pretty much the same that it needs to be restarted so a uh, scan disk with fix option can be applied so you can apply this from here it will not automatically restart the server so don't worry about it you can just um, uh, schedule that for the next restart and it will perform the um, check for you so after we enabled and uh, after we scheduled the um, check disk with the F option I'm going to restart the server and I'm going to leave it so uh, we can see together uh, how it's going to perform the checks checks on the C drive so let's see okay it's going to say that uh, you can skip disk checking by pressing any key I'm going to leave that so we can see what's going to happen so it's going to scan and repair the drive right now and um, you can see that there is a, a percentage of completion so after this is complete you can um, well at least uh, it can help you with solving issues uh, related to files or folders uh, unaccessible you are not able to take ownership of the files uh, for example if you have any um, any media type files like um, music or videos uh, they can get corrupted and this could help fixing that so 
um, yeah you can see that um, it scanned my disk really fast and um, now that it is at 100% complete I'm going to leave it to finish the process or the server once again and I can see that I'm able to log into my system now so I didn't have any errors or anything else uh, um, while setting this up I just wanted to show you what you can do to if you if you are in the case or if you are uh, during um, on the job cases you you can see problems like this and you can try to fix fix them by um, running the check disk option so um, this is the a quick video of how you can use the check disk and how it relates to the on the job cases scenarios and how you can um, try to fix them using the the command so thank you very much for viewing if you like uh, the videos you can subscribe to my channel um, if you have any comments uh, you can always leave them in the comment section below and i'll try to answer them as soon as possible thank you very much for viewing and see you soon